So we are reading from Gurudev book, Temple of Love, and we continue from page 170. Gurudev is speaking and subject is Vrindavan. <clears throat> what is the point to live in Vrindavan? Like a spark. The spark is shortly coming and going. We are waiting for more sparks. Little was there. My cleanliness. It is not fully there. So I cannot stay longer time. Just dirty, covered. So I visit and come and keep going. There is some hope to come more often for longer times and stay. We are like sparks. We are coming and we are going. We visit Vrindavan, but we cannot stay a long time. Why? Gurudev say, cleanliness is not there. I am too much covered. I am not qualified to live in Vrindavan. <clears throat> So I'm like a tourist. I can visit, but I cannot stay. If you are fortunate to live in Vrindavan, it means that you are qualified. Radharani keeps you near. <coughs> so we have hope that in the future we can go again and again. We can stay much more time And maybe one day in the future we will go to Vrindavan and we will stay there forever. You see the great sadhus, our Param Gurudev, Radha Govinda Das Babaji. He came to Vrindavan in very young age and he never left Vrindavan again. Only great soul can do that. Only great soul get permission of Radharani to stay always. Why? 
because of the purity of the heart. Not doing any offense. Keeping oneself in a very humble mood. <clears throat> Don't offend any Brajbasi. Don't offend any animal in Vrindavan. Don't offend any plant in Vrindavan. Everything and everyone is very dear to Radharani. If our behavior is not good, then we give pain to people that are very dear to Radharani. So we are not allowed to stay all the time. We have to go back to Germany, to Japan, Italy, Croatia. But we have hope that we become more and more pure, sweet and humble, and that Radharani give permission that we can stay longer and longer. Dayanidhi, please share any time if you want to say something. <coughs> and others also, I'm waiting for Suniti. Okay, I read again. What is the point to live in Vrindavan? Like a spark. The spark is shortly coming and going. We are waiting for more sparks. Little was there. My cleanliness, it is not fully there. So I cannot stay longer time. Just dirty, covered. So I visit and come and keep going. There is some hope to come more often for longer times and stay. Cleaning means more, chant more. And I will come and stay with you. More cleaning is important. But you come and are given a spark. This increases more faith. So anyway, We may not be pure, but anyway we have to go to Vrindavan. Because every time we go to Vrindavan we get one more spark. Something we always get to increase our faith. Something we always receive to grow our bhakti. But you come to Vrindavan and you are given a spark. This increases more faith.
spark is also little fire. If you start a fire, first it's like only some sparks are there. But then little fire is coming. But you have to be very careful to protect this little fire, this little flames. You have to cover it. Be careful that no wind destroying the small, small flame. You have to nourish the small fire, giving some oxygen, giving little small pieces of wood or dry grass to grow the fire. It's like Bhakti Lata Beej. We get the seed, we get the spark, but it's very tender, very small. We have to be careful to grow it, protect it, nourish it, raise it like a child, put a fence. So we go to Vrindavan, we get something and we take it in our heart back to Japan. And we have to care for the spark and try to grow it, make it a small fire, make it a big fire. <clears throat> and every time we go again to Vrindavan, we get more spark, more gasoline, more fertilizer for our fire. How we grow it, how we nourish it, by more chanting. Cleaning means more and more chanting. More cleaning is important. But you come and are given a spark. This increases more faith. I continue. Hmm. You see, in this way you read and everything becomes clear. But we start searching now in the material world. But this is like a cloud. Again, more covering comes. If you read in this way, you will read and everything will become very clear. This listening leaves you in the presence now. Happiness.
So we are coming to Vrindavan, we get the spark. This spark is not material. It's divine. We get something spiritual. But we go back to Japan and we continue searching in material. <laughs> We not keep ourselves in divine. We still searching for love and happiness in the material. But Guru Dev said it is like a cloud. If you take a plane, you you want to fly to Vrindavan, when you go in the clouds, you cannot see anything. You become blind. This is material world, like a cloud, like a big fog. Again, more covering comes. <clears throat> what is darkness? When Rupa Goswami's vision stops, I think they discussed one sloka from Utkalika Valeri. <laughs> so when the vision stops, then darkness is coming. We listen that also many times from Raghunath Das Goswami in Vilap Kusumanjali. When he is in the Leela, happiness is there. I can see clearly. I can see Swamini. But when the vision disappears, it's like darkness is coming. What is darkness when Rupa Goswami's vision stops? Vilap Kushumanjali, verse 96. Tavaivas me, tavaivas me, na jivami tvayavina. Iti vigyaya devi tvam nayana mam charanantika. Devotee Srila Nandayan Maharaj always said this prayer. Devotee, so beautiful. Guru Dev, Tavai Vasmi, Tavai Vasmi, I am yours, I am yours. Devotee, I am yours, I am yours. I cannot live without you. <clears throat> o Devi, knowing this, please take me to your lotus feet. This is the translation of the sloka. 
I am yours, I am yours, I cannot live without you. O Devi, knowing this, please take me to your lotus feet. Commentary from Anandadas Babaji In the verses of Vilap Kushumanjali, Srila Raghunata Goswami perceives his own Siddha Swarup of Tulasi Manjari and is simultaneously blessed with transcendental devotional service in Radha and Mohana's pastimes. When these visions vanish, he greatly laments and prays to Swamini's lotus feet for the attainment of these services. Gurudev to that I want to say one thing today, devotee, please. Gurudev, I was listening some bhajan. First, there was Krishna bhajan. I didn't feel much interest. I liked it, it was very nice, but I feel it's not very touching. When Radha Bhajan started, this started giving me relief. And when Radha Krishna Bhajan started, then I saw there is a pastime. Then more interest came to me for that. So I thought, why is it like that? Before I liked Krishna Bhajan, but now I am feeling Radhika Bhajan. This Ketan was so nice. And next was that Radharani's glorification gave very much relief. And the second bhajan <clears throat> was about the pastimes between Radha and Krishna. Then the mind becomes more fixed in that thing, to listen that. Why? Because Tavai was me, Tavai was me. O Radhika, I become yours, you are mine. I am yours, I am yours. I remember that Gurudev 
he was not always devotee of Radha. He liked to worship Shiva even. Please correct me, Gurudev, if I'm wrong, but I remember like that. And then Krishna devotee. But then he became Radha Dasi. So, if you are maid servant of Radha Rani, you have nothing to do with Krishna. <laughs> You listen Krishna Bhajan, but what is my business with Krishna? It's okay, it's very nice, but not much feeling coming. Guru is speaking like this here. So, listening about Krishna, but feeling is what about Radharani? Where is my Radharani? Thavai was me, Thavai was me. I am yours, Radharani. I not belong to Krishna. I belong to you, Radharani. So I listen Krishna Bhajan, but without Radharani, why I should any interest in that? It not attract me. It doesn't give feeling. So Gurudev say, first he listen Krishna Bhajan, yes, very nice. <laughs> okay, but when he then listen Radhika Bhajan, some relief has come. Meaning, only listen Krishna Bhajan giving me pain. Krishna without Radharani is useless for me. Then Krishna, he become like a god. So I feel pain. I listen Krishna Bhajan, but asking, where is Radharani? Where is Radharani? But when Radharani Bhajan coming, then, ah, finally, Relief is coming, pain is going. Now my Swamini is here. Tavai was me. I'm yours. And then Radha Krishna Bhajan coming. Gurudev said, then I start seeing the pastime. Pastime is happening. When they are together, sweet Leela is happening all the time. If we listen the past time, the mind can be fixed better. Gurudev saying, and the second bhajan was about past times between Radha and Krishna. Then the mind becomes more fixed in that thing. Why? <clears throat> so pastime Radha Mohan Leela giving me also my identity. 
I am also there now. Seva is coming. Manjari is living in Seva Rasa. Seva is their identity. And how they serve, what they serve, where they serve, they serve in the pastime. So when Radha Krishna Bhajan is coming, and the bhajan is about the pastime, about Leela of Radha Moha. Then I also feel, ah, I am included there. I have my place there. In that pastime, I also will serve. Gurudev explaining also about Kam Gayatri Mantra. Manjari is also there. I have to see myself together with Radharani in the Leela. What is my part? Where is my position? What is my service? What is my destiny? Serving Radharani in the Leela. Shri Radhe. So I read again. And next was that Radharani's glorification gave very much relief to me. <laughs> and the second bhajan was about the pastimes between Radha and Krishna. Then the mind becomes more fixed in that thing to listen that. Why? Because Tavaivas me, Tavaivas me. O Radhika, I become yours, you are mine. I am yours, I am yours. I don't know what to do. I'm very useless. I have no knowledge of anything. But only one hope is there, that I am yours. I am yours. Maybe you will bring me to your lotus feet. to understand about you and about your lover.
what lava that one for whom you think one pointed and you love him you will show me why i love and what is the reason of that love and you will give me the mercy to understand that that i cannot go out from the meditation of you and your lover I am yours I am yours I have no qualification no idea how to go hold on to you to understand to serve you after that I cannot hold you You know the monkey baby has to hold on to the monkey mama and when they lose hold the mama leaves them but the cat babies don't know to hold on to mama what does mama do then she catches them with her mouth and brings them so you have to catch me to bring what is to do what is my seva i am very unqualified to understand devoti i cannot do alone gurudev nothing i have no qualification the only hope is that i am yours I still don't understand to say you are mine. Radhe Radhe. Jai ho. Jai ho. So like you said no this uh understanding that i'm yours is like a baby baby a um, very small baby child no who is growing and need the milk from the mommy and after that when he's growing it's become more uh you are my so i want also to serve you i'm become big so i can also serve my parents and to now they serve me and uh, this this uh, example of monkey babies and uh, the cat babies so this cat babies uh, is remind me for uh, kripa kripa sida that we are mercy case kripa sida completely depending 
on on mummy's activities and this monkey monkey baby is like uh like a sadhana siddha no but actually but I, what is my understanding that sadhana is also depending on mercy so in in the end we are all kripa siddha like Guru said no and also what we said before um uh, in the beginning Gurudev explaining that uh, this spark every moment when we go to Vrindavan this spark increases a little bit but actually this spark depending always on the big flame on the big fire and this fire are pastimes of Radha and Krishna so when when we are in the pastimes of Radha and Krishna we are also alive we also feel the life more, more and more life more and more spark so because of that is necessary this kind of sangha where we can share also especially lila that we can uh, um, reviving ourselves again oh again when i hear the lila oh again again i'm live i'm in life i lose consciousness for some for for a few <laughs> moments but again i'm here again and again and again so this is uh, what I can feel very strongly, and uh, and also uh, this possessivity of I'm you are my I'm your. Actually, this is something what uh, what is uh, distinguish the saintly persons from the common persons in the material world, and why they are so special. Why why we are so attracted for them after long years after many years actually on, only by the help of Gurudev actually I understand that this is the, the main point and this is the only point by doing like that but hearing from the person who have this possessivity and we have also this possessivity for our Ishtadev actually from that moment uh, taste also is coming and it's become uh, mm, Lila become very related to us we are not only that we are looking this lila but we become part of this lila and by feeling to be part of this lila we are uh, taste increasing increasing and this taste is the only hope actually what we have and also what i feel about uh, in the beginning we said also about the uh, offenses in Vrindavan and I remember when Kesha Baba said that uh, to stay long for a long time to Vrindavan to be able to stay we should not make offenses but this is very difficult actually and how to do he said to see the things but actually to not see them to feel things but to not feel them mm so it looks like some diplomatic uh way but actually it's not because we have always our ishtadeva in the mind and because of that we are diplomatic maybe but we because we want only ishtadeva we we are not we don't want anything else so this is why i i wanted to to share a little bit to help you <laughs> Thank you. Jai Rade, very nice. Someone else want to share something? We lost Guru Dev, right? Yeah, there is no Guru Dev. Actually, Guru Dev is here. <laughs> I mean, you know. Yeah, thank you, Diane. Very nice. Cat baby is nice example. Cat babies, they are also blind for some time. No? 
they cannot see <laughs> when they're coming. They're, they're really totally helpless. They cannot do anything. They can only do meh. And good example, they are totally dependent on Kripa. Monkey baby has to do some sarana, <laughs> thinking, I'm doing, I must do something. But cat baby is, lives in the feeling that everything is Kripa. You say so nice that that we are slowly, slowly, we become able to do something, no? chanting regularly. Try to do some sarana, even this is Kripa. To meet Bhakti is Kripa. To come to Vrindavan is Kripa. To meet Sadhu is Kripa. To get Guru is Kripa. <laughs> to do Sadhana is Kripa. Everything is Kripa. I, I just read Chaitanya Charitamrita. How Advaita Chaya is praying for us that Mahaprabhu may be, he called him so eagerly with tears for a long time. Advaita Acharya, he appeared before. He saw the condition. He saw this condition in Navadvi. That time Navadvi was the it was the center of all Shastra. Many, many schools of philosophy and Sanskrit was there. Very high educated people completely But everyone was fallen, only interested in jnana, only interested in rituals, only interested in money, only interested in sense gratification. Advaita Acharya, he feel compassion with everyone. So he pray very eagerly, calling Mahaprabhu to come. I don't know why I got the book of Prabhupada. Because Advaita Acharya, he prayed for me also. Goswamis, they pray. All the devotees, they pray for the fallen souls. They pray for us all the time. Gurudev praying all the time for us that we get the mercy. But we don't see like that. I don't understand that Advaita Acharya prayed for me long time ago, that Nityananda, he pray for me <laughs> long time ago and still going on. And Kripa, Kripa Siddha is also most safe position. 
when I think I doing by my sadhana, <laughs> then ego is coming again. Living in the mercy, feeling one, oneself really unqualified is a very safe position. Mama must come and take care. Yeah, and in that position we say, I am yours, I am yours. Please take care of me. Because now I'm not qualified to take care of you. When I get my swaru, then I will take care of you. Then I will say, you are mine. I'm serving you now. But now I cannot see you. I have no qualification. Gurudev saying here, I don't know you. I cannot fix myself in you. I don't know what is my service. But I know I am yours. Please help me. Please help me to understand. Give me my svaru. Show me my service. Now I am yours. But when I get my swaru, then I will say you are mine. I take care of you now. What you said about the fire and the spark are also very nice. We have to be always near the fire. When we go far from the fire, then we will disappear. Like the example of the iron and the fire. Now we are like like iron, very not flexible, <laughs> very stiff, <laughs> very stubborn, my way only. <laughs> but when the iron is going in the fire, the iron also become fire. So you always have to try to be near the fire. For me is the meaning being connected with Gurudev. Connected with Rasika Vaishnava. that I also can start burning more and more in this association. Sri Radhe. Yeah, to, to burn, to burning in the fire of emotion together with them. Yes. I cannot do alone. Guru Dev, 
nothing. I have no qualification. The only hope is that I am yours. I still don't understand to say you are mine. Hmm. I don't know how to serve. I don't know my spiritual identity. I don't I don't really know how to please you. I'm only feeling that I am yours. We know from the Mahajans that you are mine is higher than I am yours. You are mine. When I say you are mine, then it's my responsibility to take care of you. But now I feel only that I am not so qualified. I say I'm little. So I feel that I am yours. You take care of me. Before I'm thinking why Radhika's mood is, you are mine. She says to Krishna, you are mine. The Mahajans say that I am yours is Chandravali's mood. Why do they say this? But now I see that I have no qualification to say to you, you are mine. So I say, I am yours. Qualification needs to come. Qualification that you are mine. That I have the qualification to take care of you. But I have no qualification to take care of you. But I want to be qualified to live at your lotus feet. One day will come in my life when I will say, I am yours, I am yours. One day you will accept me and give me the service of your lotus feet. You will also think for me, Oh, my Swamini, please help me. I always think I am yours. Take care of me. See me. Guide me. Show me the way to you. Rade. Dayanidhi also spoke about the child and the parents. In the beginning, the child is very dependent, cannot do anything. 
So the mama and father, they have to take care of the child. But when the child grows up, and the child become adult and become qualified, earning money, can provide, can protect. When he learn how to take care, then in the future, the grown up child will take care of the old parents. So first the child saying, oh, I am yours. I need your protection. I need your food. I need clothes, everything. I am dependent. I am yours. Mama, take care. But when I become qualified, then I will take care of her, of my mama. So to become qualified means we need our spiritual body for that. In material body, we cannot serve Radharani in the Leela. And only qualification is greed. We always say like that. Strong desire to get that. But it also means I'm ready to do anything to get it. I'm ready to chant more and more and more. How I show my greed, no? by trying to do sadhana, try to fix my mind, try to keep my senses and mind connected with Radha Mohan. Try to be in the service. This is the symptom of my greed. How my, my sadhana looks is a symptom of my greed. How much I chant, how much I read, how much I serve. This is a symptom of my greed. I think there are two different things. In Sadaka Deha, we say, I am yours. In Swarup, we can say, you are mine. This is one thing. And other subject is mood of Chandravali and Radharani. Chandravali, she has a spiritual body, no? She is not sadhaka, but her mood, her spiritual mood <laughs> to Krishna is still, I am yours. <laughs> Krishna has to provide for her. Chandravali is <clears throat> very agreeable. She always is submissive to Krishna. What Krishna says she will do, I am yours. You have to provide, you have to give me sari. Mm. 
like a wife. <laughs> she can demand from the husband, you give me, you give me, you give me. Because I am yours. But Radharani opposite. Krishna, you are mine. I don't need anything from you. I want to give everything to you. So we cannot compare the mood of Chandravali, I am yours. We cannot compare it with the mood of the sadaka, I am yours. This is not the same thing. As a sadaka, I have to say, Radharani, I am yours, I am yours. Because I need your help. I don't have spiritual body. I cannot fix my mind. I don't know my service. Please bring me, protect me, guide me. Like Gurudev saying, I read again. One day you will accept me and give me the service of your lotus feet. You will also think for me, O oh my Swamini, please help me. I always think I am yours. Take care of me, see me, guide me, show me the way to you. Rade. Devoti. In the verses of Vilat Kushumanjali, Srila Raghunata Swami perceives his own Siddha Swarup of Tulasi Manjari. Guru Dev, <clears throat> you see, Raghunath Das Goswami is in his Sadaka Deha. And to Lassi Manjari is the Siddha Deha of him. When we are in Sadaka Deha, we think like this. I have no qualification to be in my Siddha Deha. I am yours, I am yours. Swamini, when will the time come when you will show me my spiritual body and I will start living in that? I am yours, oh Swamini, I am yours. Make me understand my Siddha Deha. When will it come to me? That crying. Why don't you help me to be in my spiritual body? Why don't you show me how to live in that? Why don't you give me service? Be
because I am not in my Siddha Deha. You see, even lamenting and little blaming is coming. Not complaining of, <laughs> to Radharani. Why don't you help me to be in my spiritual body? Why don't you show me how to live in that? Why don't you give service to me? Because I am not in my Siddha Deha. Very impersonal relation. This plastic body cannot do anything of your service. I know this. So you don't see me. You don't care to me. When will this time come that I realize my spiritual body and I will start living in it? I am yours. I will never forget this, that I am yours. I will not make anything that is also I am yours. Hmm? I will not make anything that this is also I am yours. I don't understand. I will only say to you, I am yours, not to others. Even in a dream, I won't. Jai Ho. I'm just asking myself if if I can speak to Radharani like Guru is saying here. Why don't you help me? Why don't you care me? Sound little like blaming to Radharani. Why don't you give me my spiritual body? Why don't you see me? Why you don't give service to me? Can we speak like this to Radharani? We always listen that she is full of mercy. She always helps us. Can I blame her? I think As long as I don't do everything what is possible in my capacity, then I cannot speak like that. 
if I'm just sitting lazy in my sofa doing nothing, <laughs> then I cannot blame Radharani. Then I cannot say, why why you not give me my swarup? But when somebody has real greed and doing everything and crying, really crying for Radharani, but still is not happening. Then you can blame Radharani also. Why you not give me? <laughs> no. It's like the two fingers of Yashoda. When she tried to bind the Krishna, always is two fingers short, the rope. The two fingers meaning my effort and mercy. Both we need. I have to do and then mercy must come. Then then it is happening. But if I don't do myself, I don't make any effort, then I cannot say, why mercy not coming? So both things together, effort and mercy. So if I really do everything, what I can do to get it, and it's not happening, then I can speak like Gurudev. Why you not give me? Why you not care for me? Why you not give me Swaru? It's more it's a more symptom of greed no? when this eagerness is coming, even start blaming to Radharani. It's a symptom of greed. But as long as as long as I don't do everything, I think we should not blame Radharani. <laughs> I'm only eating and sleeping. Why I don't get my Swarup? <laughs> But Gorachandra also, sometimes baby also become angry with her mother. And mother is happy because of that. So if we don't have anyone else we can do, <laughs> this is also a relation. We, we try to make relation somehow or another. And also, I think that here is described the, the emergency emergency to increase our spiritual body because actually we don't have altern alternative we have only this plastic body like Gurudev said often like plastic body because plastic is des destiny of the plastic is to be throw out even from the beginning when it's made it's, uh, we know that it will be throw out one day we don't have alter alternativity, and in the same time, we have this plastic body, and uh, this bo spiritual body is made is like a diamond with the gold. So, from one side, something what is plastic, and from another side, something what is such a the big whale of value, no? So. In one in one side we don't have alternatives, so we 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 don't know what to do. Others, but from another side, this is the most matchless gift. So this this is also, in my eyes, very beautiful, wonderful, and and it is big big matchless gift from Radharani, from Guru Dev, and from all our saints, Goswamis. We don't have choice, also. 
but to accept this gold and this diamond. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Jai Oja, Dianidi, your great soul. You are correct. You are showing the way. We have no other choice. I want my spiritual body who I can blame if I don't get it. I cannot blame anyone other than Radharani. <laughs> she is the only one who can give me. <laughs> so why I should blame someone else who cannot give me? Only Radharani can give me. So if I can blame someone, then to her. Like the baby becoming angry with the mother. The baby only knows the mother. Has no other choice to become angry with someone else. <laughs> to blame Radharani meaning is also like, I only know you. It's a one-pointedness also, no? You are my mother. From you I get everything what I need. If I don't get it, I will blame you. It's natural. There is no one else to blame. <laughs> Very nice, Dayanidhi. Thank you. So 9.35, want to stop here? Ma Bhakti Himagiri, you want to share something? Oh, she's not there now? Not there, not there. Yeah. 英語通訳誰かできますでしょうか。なんでいいにちょうだいできますか。ラディラディ。I uh, next week, uh, we have a plan to the big Kirtan. I know yours, the Kyoko Kirtan is your to sit We try to uh, make the Kirtan named uh, I'm yours. Kyo, I'm yours. Today, I was surprised that why uh, I'm yours is uh, very uh, appears many, many times today. あの、今日の、うん、今日のその、マハラージの本からあの、火の子の話がちょうどあったと思うんです。uh, today, uh, in this topic, uh, sometimes uh, spark sparkling is that appeared in in this today's topic. Brindavan ni ikuriyu, Brindavan otozureru yu ga sono hi hitane o morau yu o hanashi ga atta tomaimasu. So the reason why uh, we go to Brindavan is uh, giving the sparkling uh, 
the um, small fire. Get the small fire. うん。こう。その日種をブリンダーバンからもらってきている感覚はあるのですか。日本に帰ってきた時、あ、すいません。I have a feeling that uh the I can get the that small fire. But 日本に帰ってきた時すぐ消えてしまいます。When I came back to Japan, that fire has disappeared immediately. サドムハラージにそれでいいよって言われたことがあります。Uh, uh, one day, uh, サドムハラージ told me, so, ah, uh, that's okay. あげてるんだろ? って言われたことがあります。あ、あげてるんだろう。もらってるものをすぐに誰かにあげたんだろう。あ、so uh, that's why you share uh, everybody。あ、グルネ。Thank <笑> you, グルネ。あ。<笑> ラダラニはすぐに配る人を探してるんだよって言われたことがあります。わお。ラダラでパスにてにてにおなんかさんだらさん。ラダラね。うん。グルテブセット。そう、ラダラニ is uh uh always Searching the person uh, she want to give. もらったものをすぐに流す人を探してるんだよって言われたことがあります。She is searching the person who uh, she gave that she. クルデーブにもらった火種をすぐに目の前の苦しんでる子に渡す。So, uh, I want to give the uh, the person who suffering uh that that is uh mabakti himagiri got from gurudev sono ko mo mata dare ka ni watasu and that person who is suffering is uh immediately uh giving someone watashi ni hidane wa nakunatta n desu ga またブリンダーワンに行くとグルデーブがくれます。My sparkling fire is disappeared, but uh, uh, when when I go to Brindavan, so that time Gurudev uh, gives me soon that fire. 流さないともらえないんだなということがだんだん流れとして見えてきました。I think uh, without uh, sharing, so ごめんなさい流さないと。そうあの愛の火種をもらって流して、そうすると私もまたもらえて流して。like um, without sharing some fun that someone that uh, the fire uh, we cannot get that fire it's like a circle そしたら火種が多分すごい大きなたくさん生徒が集まってきたので 
大きな大きな炎になったんじゃないかなと思っています。I think that fire is growing up, increasing. So that small fire become a big fire. 今、生徒も、バクティを学ぼうとしている子も増えています。Now, the student who want to study バクティヨーガ is、uh, increasing now. 本当に、もらったものを自分の中で留めず、いかにたくさん配るか。これがナーマサンキルタンだなと思います。I really think、uh, how to share the,、um, the kind of fire is、uh, ナーマサンキルタン。ありがとうございました。Thank you. I'm sorry. あ,ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。で、マヨベースとマバクティヒマギリ、ナマチャリア、ハリダスタクロフジャパン。ああ、もちろん、面白い。Thank you, yeah.